Tapan Gupta, who was, whose dream was to set it up like what it is happening today. And uh, sadly, he, course, passed sadly he passed away. So of course his work was not completed. And we are very happy that what's happening today is for the, uh, well, it's a pride for our whole Bengali community or Indian community. Bengal Heritage Foundation London and London Sharadut Shab's commemoration of Darkanath Thakur. Darkanath was a pioneer, not merely in industry in Bengal, <coughs> India, but an architect of modernity in thought, aspiration and attitude. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Henry Vivian Neal, I'm a trustee of the Friends of Kensal Green. It's a huge, massive pleasure um, to welcome you all here today, um, particularly distinguished guests, um, and on a personal note, having worked with Sarav very closely for the past, is it six months? Eight months. Eight months, all right, eight months. Um, when we first met here, um, at this by the grave, um, <coughs> when it was looking a lot less clean than it is now, um, but also, my association um, goes back to 1996, um, when the, um, a journalist from the Times of India contacted me. Um, we met in the cemetery, and on the 5th of August 1996, so the 150th anniversary of his um, burial here, um, I put flowers on the grave at that point. So it's a rather nice culmination of that to be here today for the commemoration of Dwakana today.
people can actually go and read this. Uh, so that's where the name of the book is, A Forgotten Pioneer. And it's a very, very touching story, also a very good representation of what Arpana Thakur has achieved. And, and there's lots of things, but what caught my eye was something I've got to get written here. This was about an incident that Krishna Chupalini mentions about how he first sees the sort of grave of Darakana Thakur in the sort of Kensley Green Cemetery. And it dates back to 1976. He talks about, he and Blair Kling was in London at that point of time. The two of them actually come and see the grave. And I'm almost going to read from there, but I think what he obviously writes is he was shocked to see the state of neglect at that point of time uh, in which the tomb was. And he, he's obviously more shocked given the fact that this is the tomb of the gentleman who built the sort of um, the monument, contributed to the monument of Ram Mohan Roy, which by that point of time was very well known, was visited by lots of people, but to some large extent, Darabhanath Thakur lay buried here in the middle of London, pretty much unknown by anybody. <laughs> Predominant partner among the Indians, well, Europeans. And another remarkable thing at those days when most of these Bengalis they developed a character of you know this survival character of psychopath character for serving these British royals and all these you know these uh, administrators. He appointed Europeans to run his business. Unfortunately, Dwarka Rob's legacy per se has been forgotten because within the Bengali diaspora as such there are people of great eminence, the scholars, people who work for top, you know, in top professions, doctors, lawyers, engineers, etc. Unfortunately, the one aspect of life that is overlooked or even looked down upon amongst Bengalis is that of entrepreneurship and business, the commercial side of it. The fact remains that the Romindranaths, the Jyotirindranaths, the Jyotirindranaths, the, the Tagore family would be nowhere without Dwarkanath's largesse, his patronage, his support of the arts. And you cannot be a supporter of the arts if you're penniless. Uh, 
experts on many things. They didn't start an enterprise. They didn't actually know the world. Why are they not doing it? And then I, I found why they are not doing it. Because the society, which doesn't give respect to their wealth creators, is sure to get to it. And one example is Prizokanat. We conveniently forgot his achievement. And as Mr. Gandhi just said, Ravindranath Tagore or all his brothers would not have achieved that success had Ravindranath not left a platform where they had complete financial security. Without financial security, you know, Kali Pete, uh, you know, Prabhu, for a time. So that kind of security was created by Prince Ravindranath Tagore. He himself was forgotten. I I am not today, uh, you know, only commiserating the Bhagavad uh, you know, name or things like that. I think they, this may just trigger a kind of change which we all wish to happen. Where a Bengali boy not, will not think of getting a government to tackle but will aspire to become a global businessman like this
Dharakanath's visit happened nine years later and Dharakanath saw the grave of his friend in the gardens of Stapleton Grove under the shade of elm trees. Om Brahma Kripali Kevalam Shanti 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 Hariyum Tatsa Peace, peace, peace be to all in the name of the Divine Reality. Delighted for the first commemoration of Dwakana Tagore. Um, really proud to be part of it and proud to see you know, the eight months of work we've put in so far to get this started um, finally seeing fruit. So um, really pleased with how it's gone and looking forward to next year. We've been really encouraged by the participation of the broader Indian and the Bengali diaspora today. Leaving the uh, dream that Darkana had, those kind of things, entrepreneurship, uh, social causes and all. So let's hope we can only go forward from here. Thank you.